is about to get started. So, you know, what I know about most travel advisors is that they struggle with marketing. That's probably the number one thing that travel advisors tell me that uh, is the problem in their business. They don't know how to get clients. They don't know how to market. And if you are struggling with marketing, my bet is that you are also struggling with creating landing pages. And so maybe you've got some landing pages. Maybe, maybe you've created an opt-in offer for your business. Maybe you have a landing page, sales page for your next major group trip or trip that you are promoting. Whatever the case may be, my question to you is, do you have a page right now? And if so, let me know in comments. Let me know zero if you don't have a landing page, you've never heard of a landing page, or one, you've got a landing page in your travel business. But if you're selling travel, it's likely that you have some sort of landing page to capture contact information for people. Maybe you're selling a trip and you're trying to get people to actually buy your trip now. If that's you, type a one. If that's not you and you don't have any of that and you don't really know what any of that is, type a zero so I can know what's going on with where you are. Second question I'd like to ask you is if you do have a landing page in your travel business, is it getting you about five leads per week? Meaning, do you get five new people show up in your inbox or show up on your email list every single week from the landing page that you have? Type a zero if you don't, type a one if you do. So getting a couple of ones. So great. Love to know what kind of landing page, what kind of offer do you have? And then the last question before we get started, I'd like to ask you is, are you confident that your landing page is optimized for conversions? Meaning that the way that it is now, you've done all that you can do to get leads in your business. Type a zero if you don't know, maybe you have, you don't know, you're not really sure. Type a one if you feel like it is completely optimized for conversions. And so these are all just fancy terms, marketing terms for what a page is supposed to do. The objective of a landing page, unless of course it's the objective is to buy, if it's a, a page where you're actually trying to get email um, contact information for your prospective leads, We'll call that a landing page. If you're trying to get someone to purchase, we'll call that a sales page. So for this purpose of this conversation, we are talking about leads, lead generation pages. If you don't know what a conversion is, it's simply what is the objective? And the objective of any landing page is for somebody to give you their contact information. In some advanced pages, it's really just the objective to get you to view the page. But we're going to assume that you all are not advanced and that you're just starting out and you build a page and that you've got a guide, a checklist, maybe a travel guide. It seems to me that that's pretty hot these, these days. I've got a lot of travel advisors talking to me about creating travel guides. So if travel guides are is your offer, you need a page to present that offer to somebody. And that's what a landing page does. So all the objective is, is for you to get that contact information. And so when we talk about conversion, the conversion objective is to get the lead. And so we wanna make sure ultimately that you create pages that are going to hit the objective, which is exchange and even exchange. You're gonna give somebody something that they want that's valuable, the guide, the offer, the checklist, whatever it is, that you've created in exchange for them giving you their contact information. But before I get started, let's talk a little bit about a story. So when I first started building out landing pages, I was just like you. I had no idea what I was doing. So somebody told me I needed to create a landing page. So I don't even know at the time that when I first started, I even knew, knew what landing page software was. So I was like, well, how do I do that? And so I, I, I you know, the, the coach that I was working with at the time, she was like, okay, you need to get you know, I can't even remember the 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 place or the 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 software that she had mentioned, but I had just got introduced to ClickFunnels. So I was like, you know what? I'm using ClickFunnels and I'm gonna build it out there. And that's what I did. And so I put together, like I looked at as many examples as I could, and I put together a landing page. And it fell on its ass. <laughs> like it didn't do anything like I wanted it to do. People would get on it and I wouldn't get any conversions. And I'm sure if you're starting out, you may feel the same way. And so 
here's the objective that we want at the conclusion of this training is, is that you feel confident to understand exactly what that page needs to do and how we can make it sexy enough to reach the objective, which is to get the leads that you want. And so I'm going to show you exactly that today. First, we're going to go over five key tips on creating high converting landing pages. But let me introduce myself for those who may not know me. My name is Sunday Gardner, and I talk all things marketing and launching a successful and profitable travel business and landing pages are the key to the success of your business. So the first tip today is on for creating a high converting landing per, uh, page. The first tip is to make sure that you have a clear and compelling headline, really. So this is the first thing that somebody is going to see when they get to your page, right? So it's going to be that headline. And it's actually a section of the page. And most of your users are on their mobile device. So it's that section of the screen before they scroll. So before they hit their finger and go down or before they hit their mouse and go down, we want that headline to slap them in the face and be so amazing that they're like, oh my God, this is for me. And so there is a trick to that. The, the headlines are called hook statements. Some of them are hot take titles. That's what I um, call them. And so here's a tip for you to create headlines that are clear and compelling. If you don't know how to do that, I always tell you, let's go to a conversational AI to help you with that. So if you have an offer, let's say you have a travel guide, you have an offer, we want to create a title or a headline on that page that's going to stop your ideal client in their tracks. And so ChatGPT, which is my conversational AI of choice, I also am now becoming a new lover of Claude AI as well. But both of those or any conversational AI for that matter can help you with creating and brainstorming headlines that are going to connect who your ideal client is. So the first thing that you need to know is who is it that your offer is for? So if you've created a travel guide, I hope that you have an ideal person in mind who would consume or review that travel guide. So the key here is to know who is the content for, make sure you know who the audience is for, what the offer is and what the benefits are, and then ask ChatGPT to give you multiple variations of a hook headline for your landing page. You can ask Voyager Social or Claude, whoever your conversational AI of choice is. But the key here is to ask for it. Ask specifically that you want a headline that is a hook type of headline. There are multiple different types of strategies that you can use in headline creation, but ask ChatGPT to help brainstorm some headlines that are going to connect with your ideal client. The number two tip for you in creating compelling and high converting landing pages is to make sure that you're using visuals that connect emotionally. So what do I mean by that? Simply put is we are a visual industry. We are not an industry that, you know, people are super technical and all they want to do is read and consume data. No, they want to see pictures. They want to see video. They want to imagine themselves in that venue or in that space. And so making sure that your visuals pop and that they really are representative of what your ideal client is interested. So you want to make sure that you're using happy travelers, right? Destinations that have beautiful colors, beautiful scenery. You want to make sure that you take time in the creation of the imagery, not only for your content, but also for your landing page as well. I do think that video is really a great way to connect with a voiceover that is you uh, speaking about why you think that that destination is the bomb.com for your ideal client, but using those types of visuals are going to be key. Now, I'm always here for the, the handy AI tip. You can also help have AI help you with ideas. If you're looking for, I'm going to tell you to listen, if you are like an AI uh, or you want to become an AI guru, you know, I talk about conversational AI, but there's image creation AI that you can use. Favorite um, imagery of choice is actually becoming ChatGPT. Dolly is um, AI's image creator. But for those who are a little bit more advanced, MidJourney is another great AI tool that you can use to help you create imagery. 
Now, what you will know about me is I am African-American. And for years, it has been so difficult to find imagery that represents people of color. However, we can now create that imagery. So we don't always have to rely on making that, you know, best great shot while we're on site. I am notorious for not wanting to actually take pictures while I'm on vacation because I like to be on vacation, not worrying about is my hair right or because my hair is usually never right when I'm on vacation. But, it, you know, do I have lipstick on? It, am, I, am I ashy? Whatever that may be, right? But you can use AI to help you create some amazing images that, represent people of color. So if that's something that you want to do, Mid Journey is a great tool to do um, AI. ChatGPT is also really good to help you uh, create imagery, um, to create the prompts that you can then use in an image making um, AI tool like Mid Journey. So just ask it for, so once you come up with, let's say your headline or your offer, ask ChatGPT for a detailed prompt that represents the imagery of what it is that you're speaking to, to create, to use in MidJourney and ChatGPT will help you create that prompt that you can use um, in another image creating AI tool. Number three tip for creating um, a compelling and high converting um, landing page is, is to make sure that you use concise and benefit focused copy. And that really just means that the language that you're using on the page isn't statistical. <laughs> let me, let me, let me do that. Is it, is it, um, is it, is it, is it really? So what I see on a lot of travel advisors pages is that they will do stuff that's important for us to make sure that we cover ourselves, right? So it's a lot of CYA information, right? What's included, what's not included. It's got, you know, it's a two room with a king bed, you know, it's an ocean front, but that's not really benefit focused. So what we want are why that piece of whatever your offer is, is going to benefit your ideal client on an emotional level. And ChatGPT is super good at helping get that out of your head and on paper. This is probably the most difficult thing that I had to learn how to do before I you know, had ChatGPT. So when I first started was really, because I'm a very logical person. I'm like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four, five, right? And the emotional side of things was very hard for me to connect. So trying to draw that out is, it was really hard. So ChatGPT makes things so much easier. So you actually use that language in your prompt when you ask for benefit statements. So let's say you created a guide and it's a Dubai guide, right? A Dubai travel guide, why Dubai is so amazing. And let's say your ideal client are couples, right? Looking for a, you know, a reconnecting getaway or something like that, right? I would ask ChatGPT to give me benefit statements for my ideal client connected to my offer so that I could then create those benefit statements. Does that make sense? So it's super important. So like I see this a lot uh, on travel advisor sites, right? Something, an example like affordable packages or experience luxury getaways. And that's really, you know, that's not a benefit statement. That's really just sort of generic, right? So we want something that's going to be more emotionally, like why, why do why do people really travel? It's not because of money, right? They really want to connect with their family, their friends, maybe for a special occasion. And so we want to make that connection in the statements that we use on our landing page. So benefit focused copy is so important when you're trying to get conversions. You want to connect the why of your offer to the thing that your person cares about, which is whatever your ideal client cares about. And then the number four tip for you in creating high conversion um, landing pages is really creating a strong and actionable call to action. And so every landing page needs to have a statement that says what you want the person who's reading the page to do, right? Is it to download the guide? Is it to book now? What is that? But I will have to tell you that just though using those words alone isn't sufficient enough, right? Everybody is inundated. I just literally read this article, I want to say a couple of days ago around that, you know, with the, with the advancement of social media and the advancement of entrepreneurs and business owners using social media, 
uh, social media that people are getting sort of immune, immune to these generic call to action statements, right? Book now, learn now, buy now, right? You need to have more connective learn to action. So we don't want just download your free guide. We want something that's going to be more um, definitive of the action and the, the result that we anticipate our client getting from uh, doing the action that we want them to do. ChatGPT conversational AI tools are really good at helping you with, um, yes, people travel for freedom, somebody wrote, and that is so true. People do travel for freedom. So what is that guide going to help get them freer, right? Like, what will it do? And so really connecting a strong action. I mean, we know that we want them to download, but why do we want them to download? We want them to download so they can get the benefit of what it is that we've created. So using that in the call to action statement on the button is what you want to do. The beautiful thing about um, software and the software that we have for our um for our users is, is that you not only have the main text that you can put on the button, you can also have subtext. So, you know, some people, I, you know, I was uh, working with uh, some clients a couple of weeks ago and, you know, somebody was like, yeah, that, that, that call to action statement was too long. And I'm like, for who, right? The call to action statement isn't for you. It's to compel the person that's reading it. So we want it to be connected. So don't be afraid to use a long call to action. So yes, get me my free download so I can get benefit, right? That's okay. So have ChatGPT help you with the strong call to action statement that you can use on your buttons and also in the text on your landing pages. And then the last thing that I wanna really uh, impress upon you um, today is, is that building trust with social proof and reviews is a natural way to get people to know, like, and trust you when they see other people, right? Other people who have received benefits from what you do. So if you aren't getting testimonials, you're not getting, um, uh, you know, you don't, maybe you're not actively asking for testimonials. Maybe people are just sliding in your inbox and giving you great accolades, screenshot those as well. Like it doesn't have to be a formal thing for you to be able to screenshot it. I, you know, I don't do this as well as I used to do it, but when people like will text me messenger, or even if they're in my, in my post and they comment something, screenshot that as well. It is my hope that I do not <laughs> lose the internet, but Georgia has been going through some stuff this last, we just had a chemical leak um, uh, yesterday. We had the storm last week. It is, and so the internet has been in and out the last couple of days. So um, if I, if I don't, if I do lose you, I will be back. So what I want to say is making sure that you have social proof and including that on your landing page, don't be shy. You know, I think, one of the things that I oh, I struggle with, and maybe you struggle with this as well, is I, I don't really like talking about how much I'm the bomb.com, right? <laughs> I just I just naturally don't. I mean, that's not something that I really get into, but you need to get into it. Like you need to be comfortable with talking about how amazing you are and then asking for people to tell their experience with you and how they did with you and utilize that in your landing pages. Actually have a testimonial section in the landing page where you are showcasing your Facebook reviews, your Google My Business reviews, or you're creating what I call testimonial images that represent what people have said about you. Put those, put those comments, put those reviews on all of your landing pages, even if they're the same one. So that one is probably the one that I struggle with with the most, and maybe you do too, but making sure that you have a social proof. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually show you how Travel Pro Suite can help you in the same regard by actually allowing you to see what a landing page with all of the criteria has on it and how easy it can be for you to create it. So let me actually share my screen. All right, so here is one of our landing pages. This is actually our done for you landing page that we have just recently released to our premier members. And what it is, is this is just an example of the layout. And so this big giant call to action or headline is what we want to have in all of our pages. We wanna have some 
promise to our the person who's reading the um, landing page so that they know why they are here and why this is so important for them. And then I always like to include this section right here is what I refer to as the hero section. So this is the section that happens right before the scroll. So before somebody, so it's designed optimally in mobile and desktop view. So before somebody scrolls down, they're going to see this promise. And for those people who are quick action takers, they have the opportunity to get it right now. And then what we also have is imagery that, again, that relates to the topic. I think this is for training, so I don't think this yoga relates to this image. But the idea is, is that you see that this image is similar here as in here. And so we've created that imagery. And in the, the training for this, I tell our users how to actually create the images in Canva so that there's continuity between the hero image and then also the image that is for their offer. And then what we have on the right hand side is the benefit statements that are associated with the offer and why the person that I want to download or get this why it relates to them. So again, these statements need to be benefit driven for the ideal person who is the consumer of this. And then what we've done here is we've included the section for the travel advisor to have a picture of themselves and to talk about how they help their ideal client. And then we've got the testimonial section. The great thing about what we're doing is we're pulling in automatically reviews that are already on our site and on our Facebook page so that we don't have to worry about trying to bring that in. I also do like if let's say you don't have any images on, I mean, you don't have any reviews on your uh, Google site or in Facebook, you can actually create what I call testimonial image cards. And those are 1080 by 1080 cards that we create. We just slap the, the, the testimonial that a client has provided. We put that on an image so that it's formatted so that it looks good when we actually add it to our site. And then we actually have the exact call to action that we want. We want somebody to actually put in their information and hit submit. And so that is what we want for you as well. We want you to be able to create landing pages that are going to do their job, which is to get people to say yes to the dress, right? Say yes to what it is that we are offering our clients. And the way to do that is to ensure that you have the five tips that I have mentioned um, included on your landing pages. So here's what I would say for you. If you are new to marketing, maybe you have a destination in place and you are wanting to create not only this landing page, but you wanna create an entire process that's going to help you sell your destination. Maybe you have a group trip in mind, Whatever that offer is that you have, we're coming up on the holidays. And so you should have a funnel of sort already built, ready to start promoting your group trips for 2025 starting this holiday season. We've got a, we are hosting our second round of Funnel Mastery, which is happening at the end of October, October 26th and 27th. And I invite you to register for that. That is a two day workshop where live, we will not only take what your group trip is, we will create a unique opt-in associated with that trip so that we can start getting you leads who are interested in that destination and the type of offer that you ultimately will be dropping to them. We create a welcome series for you that will help you connect with the client after they have downloaded your particular offer and then an ongoing promotion strategy so that you can then ultimately drop your group trip or your signature trip with them. That funnel mastery is again happening October 26th and 27th. It's the weekend before Halloween. And so it's live action. If you are interested in getting it done in two days, we not only just talk about strategy, but we actually get the funnel built. We get all of the assets built. We get the offer built. We get the email series, the funnel pages, and then also the sales pages for your group trip. Listen, I would love to have you inside of that workshop. You can go to onlinetravelboss.com 
forward slash workshop to sign up today. With that, I will end today and I will see you in tomorrow's training. You can, if you have any questions, you can join us in office hours right happening right now. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now go to sundaygardener.com.